Hey everybody, this is Buddy. I hope y'all don't mind, but I'm going to use a screen reader to tell this story. Um, you know, I am dyslexic, and <laughs> my reading ain't, you know, what it could be. But my technical skills are up to par, and this screen reader will do the job. And I can uh, edit it, and, well, there's a whole lot more to the story than, than what you're just fixing to hear. But it, it's very well the beginning of me talking about my awakening. I hope you enjoy it and um, just overlook, you know, the fact that I'm using a screen reader and just realize that uh, I am blessed and I have much favor. Thank you. This reading is presented by Read Speaker, Sunday, August 15, 2010. Amazing seven year anniversary of awakening. My story is one of tears, triumph, and a commitment to perseverance. Where I am today is because of events that took place throughout my life. Many things can happen in a person's life that can get them down and keep them there. I see my story as a testament of how God works in mysterious ways. I believe now that all things happen for a reason. Although I regret some things in my life, it has made me who I am today and for that I am now closer to the Lord than ever. By His grace I shall be free. The turning point in my life that has made me who I am today was when my wife of 19 years left me. I became consumed by depression. There were many things that I regret doing and now I know that I was in the wrong. I believe my trouble was that I had drifted away from the Lord, or did I ever really know Him? I never went to church except for when I was very young. If only I had had a relationship with God, maybe my depression wouldn't have consumed me as it did. I was in such a terrible state of mind that I had a gun to my head ready to end my life. But within that very moment I heard the word grace. It came right out of my chest. Then the thought of calling out to the Lord the word grace. What had contributed to me calling out grace was that just days before I had visited a church to drop off a message about a car accident. While in the church, I sat in the back and listened to this woman talk about grace and what it meant. That next night at 4 a.m., I was so depressed and driven over the edge, but in that moment I shouted out to the Lord to take these thoughts of suicide and depression out of my mind and deliver me from the path that I was on. I said to the Lord that I hadn't had a good night's rest in the past nine months more than four or five hours then I would awake to worms crawling in my mind. Before I knew it, it was the next day 4 p.m. As I woke I realized I hadn't moved all night. My mind was still, so still. I had slumbered the night away in God's cradle and woke the next morning with a ball of joy built up in my chest. Then I remembered the night before and calling out grace to the Lord and they saved my soul. Within that very instant I knew that God was real. I said out loud, OMG God is real. Every cell in my body vibrated. He saved me from my darkest hour and delivered me to the world in a new body and mind. I praise the Lord for what he had done to me. Within two days I'd met a lady named Elmley. She seen my awakening was real. We talked about the love of God. She told me by my words, she could see I and my father were one. I told her I know, I was the I am and she told me about speaking life to your cell and DNA. She said soon I was to meet a man, her dear friend Joe Turner that would love me. Elmley asked me to come to church with her near, my home in Greenwood, as I was eager and ready to receive the Holy Ghost, but I was patient until it was my time. Four days after the incident I received the Holy Ghost. I had felt very comfortable and at home during the service. As the speaker continued I raised my hands in the air and praised the Lord. I said to the Lord thank you for saving my life. My life is yours, I offer myself as a sacrifice. I have nothing else to live for but to serve you and I want to strike to be the best Christian in you I said this without even knowing what I was saying. As I continued I said, Lord, not my will but let yours be done in my life. Let me and guide me and show me each day your will. Before realizing it, I was on the ground. I had a flash movie go off in my mind. I could see all the horrible things in my life from the ages of 2, 4, 6, 8, 14, 19, and up. I had experienced it all over in my mind and God told me that he had been with me throughout all of my life and that he knew me. He said to me not only was he with me, but I was with him when he spoke the universe into existence, and not only I but all other spirits just like me from the before and now. He said that we are that important to him and that we are special enough to have been since before the beginning. That being made known triggered something magical in my mind's eye. After coming to the recollection of that, a smile formed on my face and has not left me since. I knew who I was and that I was important. God loves me and everybody else in this world he has created. I am the son of God and I am an inheritance to the Bible and its word. I had meaning and my life will forever be his.